John Hartson has been given his opinion on the Celtic transfer window as it slams shut. But just before it slams shut, he was talking about Celtic captain Cal McGregor and how he has a big hand in what goes on. Well, at least he thinks he does. At least he, he's got a bit of sway. He's got the, the captain's armband. I wish it was that easy, John. I wish James Tavernier could walk into the Rangers board and just slam down and be like, right, Here's my A4 sheet of paper. These are the names that I want. And off the board, go and get it. Celtic fans wish it was that easy for Cal McGregor as well. Every team in Scotland wish it was that easy. Shankland wishes he could go into Hearts, put his name down with a Rangers badge beside it and be like, right, I want this to happen. But the reality is, that can't happen. But Hearts has been talking. He said the January transfer business has been slow and it's just not picked up and it got worse at the end according to Big John Hartson. Um, I guess it's the fact that it was, it was dragged out doesn't make it any better. Um, he says he's been bewildered by the lack of activity from Celtic um, in the month of January. I mean, not that the one day in February was absolutely fantastic. He was talking on goal, goal, goal radio. The former striker questioned whether like someone, Cal McGregor, would urge the powers that be to bring in much needed quality. Even perhaps Brendan Rodgers asking the Celtic captain what is needed because John Hartson feels he's earned the right to do that. I mean, right. Right, hold on here, John. If Brendan Rodgers has to ask the Celtic captain what does he think the team needs, then what is the point of Brendan Rodgers even being the Celtic manager? I'm not saying Brendan Rodgers or managers in general, right, can't you know, ask for a bit of feedback or ask for this, but how pish would it be if the manager's going to the captain going, here, what part of this team do you think needs strengthened? Football teams are a lot more complex these days where you've got people, more people behind the scenes like, what do you call it, transfer, what do you, what do you call them? Directors of football, that's, it, that's the one we're looking for and other people like that in roles. I think the days of managers going to the captain and asking what do we want is um, quite ridiculous, to be honest. Um, he did go on to talk about McGregor. He said he's one of the most important players of the club, both on and off the pitch, with his two standout displays coming against Rangers this season. <laughs> yep, they did. They absolutely did. Um, he then goes on to say, I think he should. If he isn't, then Cal has got the authority and the respect. He has earned it to say, look, we need a bit of help here. We've got this league, we are in front. They've got games in hand. Secretly, 1v1, I think Brendan might ask Callum what he thinks and what he wants, because I think he has earned the right to do that. But, but who's 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 earned the right to do that? What, Callum McGregor? But a lot of Celtic fans are bashing Brendan Rodgers and saying that he should be the one calling at the board and saying, well, you know what, I said, I promised these fans I was going to sign quality in this window and we've just no done it. I mean, Nicholas Kuhn, Adam Adair... Two unknowns, and I get it, you know, it's Scottish football. You can't go out there and sign £50 million players that are proven, like, at top, top levels. But you can do better than that, man. It's like if Celtic knew, right, they were going to need to loan someday at the start of this window. There's so many better players in the, in the English Premiership, that, let alone the Championship, man, with records like that. It's incredible. Like, I said about it yesterday for Rangers, but fan fiend. Celtic fans who are listening to this, would you have rather Kevin Fanfine than Adam Adoa? And I think the vast majority of Celtic fans would rather Fanfine. Because the fact is, the guy was top goal scorer last season. You know, that would mean Celtic would have the two top goal scorers in the team. Which is which would be great. And, you know, with Giamakis and Kyogo, they had that like the first season, I believe Giamakis managed to get the top spot and Kyogo was near enough there with him. That's what you need. That's what Rangers and Celtic should have. They should have, like... The, the, the top goal scorers in the league should be at the old farm. And here, for the most part, it is. It's Celtic, that's the way it's been. But for Rangers, it's it's just not been that. It's been a bit of a disaster. For Rangers, if we're being brutally honest about it, I believe when Rangers won the league, it was Regan Charles Cook that was top. Rangers haven't had a goal scorer in donkeys. It's, you know, see, as much as I loved Alfredo Morelos, right? In his prime, he was an absolute unit. He just didn't bring enough goals. The days of Rangers having a, an all on out goal scorer are years ago, man. Like, over decades. Like 15, like since the days of like Boyd, Miller, etc. Player like me, I know Yelf wasn't at Rangers for a long time, but 
Rangers have lacked strikers. Like uh, you, you know what, right? I'm not. I'm not going to bury Defoe too much. But he was never like you know, Defoe at his age, he's never going to be the guy at starting every game. Even though his goal record was great, Kamar Roof made it a wee bix. But for but for Celtic, I want it in the comments below. Would you have rather fan feeding than Adam Adoa? And I've seen Celtic fans call out. They've even got this Adam guy whipping up his sleeves and pointing to his you know Irish flag shamrock and it's almost like a fort no, I say it's not I say it's almost like it's a literal form of brainwashing it is that's what this is you know th th this would be like Rangers signing Cal Lafferty on loan again even though I'm pretty sure is he retired now he might play for I'd be like Rangers bringing Lafferty even though Adam Adore is better than Lafferty right don't get my but, well I say he's better than Lafferty at this current point, he's better. Obviously, Lafferty, he's done stuff in the past that's made him obviously better. But at this current point, this would be like Rangers bringing in Lafferty, man. And, he, and he, he, he pulls up his fucking arm, which I'm sure he has anyway. You know, he's got the flute, and it's in red, white, and blue. And some people would lap that up, but the reality is, is he going to produce the goals of this? No, he can't even produce the goals for fucking Linfield. I mean, I think, disaster of a window, but John Hartson, he's called out. Cal McGregor, he's like... You should have went to Brendan. Even though he's not done it in that context, but we'll have to wait and see, guys. One day of action ahead. We're going to do a preview show for tomorrow. Full card, looking forward to it. And also, transfer roundup. We'll also do who won the window between Celtic and Rangers. That will be a poll. Make sure you vote on that. But until then, peace.